Birds have captivated us for thousands of years. Their beautiful songs have inspired poets for centuries. Their colorful plumage has motivated artists to capture them on canvas. And their annual migrations have fascinated and baffled us all at the same time. Take this tiny ruby-throated hummingbird as an example. It weighs less than a loony coin, but it travels from Central and South America to Southern Ontario every spring, then goes back again every fall. At one point, these tiny birds crossed the entire Gulf of Mexico in a single flight, a distance of 800 kilometers. That's like you and me running 20 consecutive marathons without taking a break. But there's something else birds have to offer, a warning. Migratory birds travel thousands of kilometers each year and rely on many different habitats along the way. And because they're sensitive to very small changes in their environment, they serve as a good barometer or early warning system. Just like the canary in the coal mine, any changes in their numbers or their diversity can teach us a great deal about the state of the environment as a whole. And all too often it seems the canary is sounding the alarm. There's evidence that suggests that many of these still common birds, that their numbers have declined in some cases more than 50% over the last 20 or 30 years. And if you speak with most bird watchers, they'll tell you that there are fewer birds around. And yet we at the observatory recognize that anecdotal accounts, even if they're unanimous, that they don't enable real change, whether it's policy making and governmental decisions. So we're trying to bring some numbers and some actual science to what is generally understood to be the case. We study migratory birds because they have a lot to teach us about ourselves and how well we take care of this planet that we all call home.